Hi guys, remember me? Well, I've been gone for a while, but I will be having some new content uploaded very soon. Trust me, I know about these things. So anyway, today I'm going to be showing you off some games that I picked up recently. A uh, few old, few new, and also, you know, some other things. Uh, in Louisiana, we call it Lanyap. I'm going to give you a little something extra at the end. So, Anyway, we're going to start out with uh, the new, uh, some new games that I picked up. One was uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 that I picked up whenever I, it first came out. Uh, I picked it up from GameStop, so I got uh, the exclusive download for uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So that was pretty great. Um, also in that game, you can create your own uh, storyline. So that's what I was doing. I actually I have this whole story going, and I, I don't know, I like it. So I think I may just upload it to see what you guys think of the way that I'm putting it. Because I've always kind of, I don't know, I've always like had a thing for writing. So I want you guys to just give me some feedback on the story. Tell me if you like it. So. All right, uh, the next game that I picked up, uh, in fact, it's the only game I've ever pre-ordered in my life, and I was so impressed with the other one that I just had to do it, and I picked it up on Tuesday, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, I picked it up on Tuesday, I beat it on Tuesday, I didn't put the controller down, I didn't eat, I was malnourished, uh, <laughs> I didn't see any sun, you know, because uh, I went through it that day, so I got kind of pale. No, I'm joking. It was only one day, so I beat it in just a few hours. So. Not long. It's a short story. Uh, if you continually sit there and play it, but I gotta tell you, the story is awesome. At some points, you're like, "What?" You know. And then at the end, you're uncertain about what really is going on. You really don't know what's gonna happen next. So you gotta play the next game to figure out what. You know what we're gonna do about all this situation that happened um, the last thing you do at the end is really great I love how they did it it's insane um, you can go look it up on YouTube I'm sure somewhere if you want a spoiler but I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys today <clears throat> so you don't have to worry about that but this is a definite buy it's not a rent it's not a borrow it's a freaking buy because not all right like I say it's a short storyline, but go back and play it on Legendary Mode if you didn't do it in the first place. Because I tell you what, on Legendary Mode, whenever you, uh, Wait, why do I say Legendary Mode? I'm like, I'm going insane. It's not Legendary Mode, it's Veteran Mode. <sighs> Alright. Been a long day, I suppose. Maybe I was a little too malnourished. I'm going to get some Ozarka water that's been flavored with some cherry mix. I'm trying to kick... Ugh, it's building something. I'm trying to cut back on uh, drinking sodas. So, But anywho, um, yeah, if you, you just go ahead and play it on Veterans Mode. And not only will you achieve a lot of achievements, but you will also just... You will get killed repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm doing. I did really well at it, and I, I think you got. If I can do it, you can do it. I mean, look at my gamer score. The me guy, uh, capital T, H E, capital M E, capital G U I. That's my uh, Xbox tag, whatever you call it. Now I'm not on there a whole lot, and if you see me on there, mostly I'm watching Netflix. But uh, I do get on there and play Modern Warfare sometimes, so go ahead and hit me up on there. If, I'm, if there's a game that I'm playing online or whatever, you can go ahead and add me. Uh, I'll add you back and all that stuff. So The me guy. And that's kind of an inside joke for uh, me and a couple of the YouTubers around here. So There's a reason behind that name. So, uh, also, I, wanna, I might as well show you the rest of the games I got. And they, we're going to delve into the more classic now. Uh, I got Gran Turismo 2 for the PlayStation. And I picked this up at a flea market. 
uh, for five bucks. It comes in the original packaging. Everything's perfect. It comes with the manuals. Uh, what I didn't realize was there's a simulation disc and there's an arcade disc. Now, one thing about the Gran Turismo series that I never really was happy about was the fact that it's a simulation. I don't really care for simulation games. I like the arcade style. So the fact that there's an arcade mode disc, it's making me pretty happy right now. And I can't wait to play it because I've never played this game. But it looks really awesome and I've only heard good stuff about it. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Um... Actually, we're going to go back to the newer. I'm jumping around here, so don't worry about it. Uh, this was just in a bag. Um, it was actually in this bag. I paid 10 bucks for it at the same flea market. Uh, the bottom is fine. There's no scratches. It's a mirror's edge for the Xbox 360. And the reason I bought this is because I haven't played it, but I've only heard good things. And the stuff that I've seen about it, it looks really, really awesome. Basically, um... The only thing I know about it is that you're running around and doing really cool stuff. It's like doing stunts or something. I don't know the story or anything, but I'm sure I will want to play it. And then there's this bag of PlayStation CDs. And I got all these discs for $1. $1. That's it. $1. <laughs> I'm going to go over them with you. The first disc is Jet Moto 2. And I think that was a good game. I'm not sure. I haven't played it in forever. And a lot of these are uh, PlayStation Magazine disc demo discs. Like this is from March '99. It's number 18. It's got Busta Groove and Cipher and Filter and things like that on it. It's just demos. Same thing here. This has got um, Metal Gear Solid and Legacy of Kain. It's number 13, which was October '98. And then we got Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Awesome. Freaking game. Awesome. My favorite Need for Speed on the PlayStation game console. Uh, February 99, NFL Game Day and Twisted Metal 3. Cool, Bo cool Borders 3. Different demos like that. Uh, I got the same disc. I got two of the same disc. Uh, and now I have an interactive sampler disc CD, Volume 8, for PlayStation. Now, Sony. Oh. Uh, I don't know what this is. The only thing I can think of is that uh, back in Windows 95 days, Sony used to put out these CD sampler extra game, extra CDs, and basically it was like a <clears throat> um, you go into this Windows environment. Uh, it's this program where you go in different rooms, and each room has an artist, and they're playing. You, you can watch the music videos and listen to the music, stuff like that. I used to have one like that. But anyway. Those are pretty much the CD-based games I have. What happened to the rest of the games that I had? I had a whole stack of them here a second ago. I must be losing my mind. Okay. Oh, here we are. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I also picked up a bunch of Nintendo 64 games. Uh, five, actually. They were $2 a piece, so I spent 10 bucks on five of them. Not too bad. First one is Hey You Pikachu. And before you laugh, I never played any kind of Pokemon game. And I collect Nintendo 64 games. So leave me alone. No, I, I really haven't played it. I don't know anything about it. But I'll keep an open mind and give it a shot. Same thing here. I got Pokemon Stadium. They even have a little place in the middle where it says, uh, you can't read it, but it says, This game pack belongs to... A little white part, and you're supposed to write your name in it. And it's actually not a sticker put on it. It's part of the, the uh, label. And these are all in really pristine condition. They're perfect. Next, we have South Park, which a lot of people don't like, but I happen to love this game. Uh, I don't know. It's the humor and all. It, it's really crappy. It's not the best game, but it's so nostalgic to me. And I used to like playing it as a kid, so why not? Next is uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, really great game. Basically, the reason why I my eyes wandered in the direction of the games. Um, next is Banjo Tooie, which I've never played. Um, 
but right now, anyway, right now, Nintendo Capri Sun is doing a walkthrough, um, and he's doing a Let's Play on it, so I, I haven't really watched that one, <clears throat> I'm more, I'm actually uh, in the process of watching all of his, uh, uh, what's that, Legend of Zelda, the GameCube one, the one where he looks like a cartoon, come on, come on, I even have the game. And I've been watching the videos. <laughs> I must be tired or something. I don't know. I, mean, I need some more, some more uh, cherry flavored drink. My brain might be shriveled up. The Wind Waker. Haha! -ha! See, it works. Anyway, so he's doing the Wind Waker and all these other games. I, I, I can't stress enough. Go to Nintendo Capri Sun's channel. It's spelled just how it sounds. Um, you will find all a whole list of walkthroughs that he's done, and he's hilarious. And uh, it's kind of an homage to him, and the next thing I'm going to say is about him. Is this okay, Mommy? <laughs> Watch the Majora's Mask when you'll know what that is. So anyway, that's all my games that I picked up recently, except for uh, I picked up... What's the name of that game? Shoot, I'm doing it again. Hold on, let me get the break. Ah, Quake 4. Ah, it works. Quake 4 I picked up at um, GameStop. It was a cheap game, and now I know why. The frame rate is horrible. If you go look up online, it tells you it's horrible. Uh, like in, at IGN and stuff. <clears throat> and I was like, eh, whatever. So I popped in the game, and then I was... Really, it was like... It was like the spaceship's coming. That's... I'm sitting there, no, I can't believe they didn't debug this. I can't believe they didn't code it better, something. But the, I don't know, if maybe the PC port, if there is one, is better. Uh, but for the 360, to just... So, <clears throat> I don't recommend it. It might be a fun game, but I can't get past the frame rate. It's aggravating. Um, I also picked up Lost Planet, which I don't have an opinion on because I haven't played it yet. But it was cheap, so I bought it. Um, same thing with, uh, what was the other game I bought? Uh, whatever. <laughs> I bought another game and I can't remember. <laughs> it's somewhere over there. It's in a pile. Uh, I guess it's not important. I'm hearing music outside. It's too early for caroling. This might be playing music. I don't know. This video is getting kind of weird, so I'm just going to move along. Uh, I also wanted to show you this movie that I picked up. Well, actually, it's four movies. It's a collection. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie collection. Oh, It's got all four movies. It's got the three live-action movies and... The TMNT movie <clears throat> available at Walmart. Now, if you get it at Walmart, then it comes in the in the sleeve. It comes with some cool tubular temporary tattoos of all your favorite turtles, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm just gonna leave those in there. Anyway, it comes in a nice set like this with Ninja Turtle. Two, three. And TMNT. <clears throat> now here's something I don't understand. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 was not called Turtles in Time. Turtles in Time was the name of the video game. Yet on here... Hello? Okay. In here, you see it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. You get the three swipes. This is Turtles in Time. And on the, I thought it was odd. Um, on the back, it also says Turtles in Time. I guess it was uh, a subtitle on there that they never used. So, But anyway, since we're talking about movies, might as well talk about... Oh, oh I just remembered the other game I bought, Rainbow Six Vegas. It was cheap, so I bought it. All 360 games, by the way. <clears throat> um, but going into the movies, I've been kind of... Sprucing up my Blu-ray collection. Um, 
I got Halloween at Walmart. It was very, very inexpensive. It was like ten dollars. Yeah, you can get some good movies for ten dollars. I got My Bloody Valentine 3D, which I like the 3D. A lot of people don't like that they're coming out with 3D movies, you know, nowadays. But whatever, it does not matter, you know, whether it's 3D or not. Because whenever you get the DVD or the Blu-ray, or whatever, you can get both versions. You don't need the, you don't have to worry about the. All that stuff. Anyway, it comes with some uh, Saw 6 glasses. So, it also comes with a digital copy. Got a Friday the 13th, 2009, a killer cut. And I, I heard that uh, the next one is supposed to be in 3D. Um, a lot of people aren't happy about it, but like I say, you know, you could watch either or. I got The Dark Knight. Just because I had to have it. I don't even have Batman Begins, but I had to get The Dark Knight. That was one wickedly awesome movie. Going back to the DVD section. Uh, I've got uh, this two-disc ultimate edition of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The original. Uh, the Toby Hooper film. Um, <clears throat> and it comes in this really cool tin. I like the tin. But it sucks the the package I mean well let me tell you the way that they set up the discs sucks and I'm gonna tell you why does anybody see a problem with this hmm well let's say I don't want to watch the movie let's say I want to watch the special features okay let's take it out can't do it you know why because this is in the way so whenever you take it out you're gonna have to pull it out and press in the middle does absolutely nothing you can sit there and press the middle all you want because there's a there's like a little tube in the middle of it so you can't push the things in so you just gotta pull it out and hope that it doesn't snap in half and now you're able to get to the bottom one. ridiculous these people are idiots not only that <clears throat> but check this out to accompany the disc they had you see how it overlaps so much that they had to saw off the top prong. It's retarded. But anyway, the set itself is awesome. You get a lot of extra content that I never ever even knew that they had shot. Well, it was great. I don't know if I showed this or not. X Men Origins or Rain. Awesome that they come with um, a digital copy so you can put it on your iPod. I got them on my iPod Touch, which I like. Got the Wizard of Oz, the remastered version. They don't have a, a pop or a click or anything. The audio is insane. Um, it's still mono, but they recorded it in mono back then. But it sounds excellent. The visual quality, there's no scratches on the screen at all. Uh, it's, it's perfect. It's like they would have made it a few years ago. <clears throat> the reason I got this is because I, everybody grew up with this movie. Uh, it's just something I had to buy. <clears throat> and I got, me liking 3D, I got this um, Sea Monsters 3D thing. It's kind of like this IMAX-esque thing where it comes with 3D glasses. And uh, I guess that's all of them. Actually, I want to say I have more. They can't be all of them. But oh well. Anyway, going back to DVD again, I got The Rise and Fall of WCW, which the set, it's uh, three discs, and it folds out like so. So, I normally don't like the fold-up ones, kind of like, like that, like uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, all the seasons, the original releases were set up like this. <clears throat> and it was my mother's set and she always lost them everywhere so I had to go out and get her the discs back, you know, I had to go and find ways to acquire them to replace the discs on there, so uh that's pretty much all rele the relevant discs that I wanna show right now. I don't wanna leave this as too long or be boring. Yeah, yeah, haha. Ha. Too late. <laughs>
shut up. I haven't been on here in a long time, okay? Now, I'm going to be doing some videos pretty soon. I'm going to be uploading. Uh, one of which is going to be the uh, SmackDown vs. Raw storyline that I've been working on. So, again, just give me your opinions on it. And I'll also uh, be going back to the old style. Like, as you see, the old style uh, camera. I mean, I could use my digital video camera, but... I mean, I, I want to start using the webcam I got on this uh, new laptop I have. So, we'll see. Um, also, I have... What? Yeah, I've got all kind of stupid effects on here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it, it just came with a bunch of stuff that you can play with. So, I'm having fun with it. I don't know. I guess you use this for Christmas or something. That was just creepy. Not only that, but they have like avatars or avatars or however you want to say it. So you can um be like hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. They have all kind of crap on here. So I just decided to use this. So, um, all you guys, I am still here. I know that uh, there's quite a few who probably gave up on me or whatever, but that's fine, but I'm back, so get your butt back over here. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you soon. Later.